I can just embroidery thread color, so then yeah. it has a job. We're just gonna ask for a thread color. Exactly. But if you if you have a hat key press, like a long time ago before we started the manufacturing, we'll, we'll go back to the uh -huh. office. A long time ago before we started the manufacturing, I had a clothing brand. Uh -huh. So back then, like like when you say like you have a hat key press and you're gonna heat press transfers, that's how I would do it. Yeah. Do the things in house that you could do yeah. in house. Yeah. And the things that you don't can't do, then you just outsource yeah. that component. Okay. 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 Printed it on the muslin and then sewn on. So we, we print it on this, sewed it on, and then we finished it with puff over it. Oh, uh, round, like a uh, detail, yeah. detail puff? A detail puff on top of it. Right, right, so right, we screen it. printed on this, sewed it, and then come back in. Come back, yeah. Uh, this uh, customer sells on like retail stores. Yeah, of course, definitely. That one was more doing the So you're saying, so the, uh, this would take that uses this too for other other uh, jobs. artwork jobs. Yeah, gotcha, yeah, yeah, gotcha, yeah. Gotcha. Because this one's the biggest. Yes, I so see. <laughs> for, 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 for technical jobs, it, um, you want as much space on the machine. Uh -huh, yeah. So the colors are dried. Yeah, everything and, all around. You don't have yeah, to double yeah. back. Exactly. So this job, it either runs the toughest jobs or uh -huh. it runs the digital squeegee. Gotcha. So pretty much this is what it's like. So first you screen print the water base uh -huh, white. Right. And then from there, this machine, is in perfect sync to the machine and a screen print machine like the screen yeah right so from there all you have to do is just load it up so you just press this button it'll load up the machine uh -huh. and then from there um once you start the machine it goes into rotation uh -huh. which, so this is connected to the squeegee machine as well yeah gotcha. yeah exactly the, so it's the, loading all not just the base white all the colors um, um so so, so it controls the base white, but no, no, then you don't even use the squeegee. I'm sorry, it's coming straight from here. It's only one white squeegee. Right? Uh, um, so, so you screen print the white, yeah, like the uh -huh. under base, yeah, yeah, yeah. and then this machine does only color. All the color, gotcha. All the gotcha. color. Stripping is the other way, you're right. Yeah, other gotcha. way, yeah. yeah. So the machine, yeah, screen print is the white, and then it comes here, is the color, just knocks it out. Yeah. For DTG, the expensive part is the white. Yeah, yeah. So for this process, why it's powerful is because it eliminates the white with the screen print. The screen white, print, yeah. Uh -huh. What's what's good too is this is like for concert merch where you want like flesh tones. Uh huh. Um, it's going to be hard to see, and I don't want to load it. No, I understand, I understand it. But uh -huh. what's nice is, let's just say you printed a circle, mm -hmm. okay, like a complete circle. You can technically, or like a rectangle box, mm -hmm. and we print the white, we can technically change the design. So you see how you printed this, mm -hmm. right here? Mm -hmm. We would be able to, in the same production run, mm -hmm. leave this like that, mm -hmm. and then completely print out a new model in the same rotation. Oh, okay, got you, and change the color. Uh, and change the design. Oh, because the white is the you base say, anyway, yeah, regardless. Yeah, ah, I don't geez. explain, I'll just be careful for your uh -huh. I don't want you to get no, gotcha. uh, um, 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 I don't explain that to people because I don't want to blow their mind. Uh -huh. but that's another component. No, I like, totally understand it, of course, because it's just the white base. Yeah. And then you're just running through it. So right, if you were like, Adrian, I want I just want to look in here, quick. Wow, that's crazy. Let me show you, okay. show you something. Uh -huh. Monster. And then you, you physically see a print, you know? Yeah, I know. I seen that thing go. I'm like, whoa, this is good. Where'd you find this? Or how'd you, did you guys build this? Or? I'm like, like, I'm like, I've been doing this for 10 years, 12 uh -huh. years. Uh -huh. So I, I follow them. Follow yeah, them on yeah, the Facebook of course. Group. Of course. I, I, go, I see everything they drop. So when this came out, you, you go to a trade show yep. and then you just uh -huh. imagine. Uh -huh. yep. This thing is expensive. I but bet. The, but, but the reason why it's good is not too many people have it. Yeah, so, I know. So, it, so it's actually, as expensive as it is, it's an amazing investment because no one else has access to yep. it. Which means that... Went into DT, I was gonna almost buy the DTF machine. Yeah. And was looking at reviews, was looking at people uh, explaining it, even companies yeah. telling me about it, like on yeah. the phone with the machine. And then I went to uh, a friend of mine downtown, had one. Um, even though I've seen them, you know, film strips, whatever, and I went to action, I did one, and I, it's a heat transfer. 
Like it feels like paper. Mm -hmm. Like no one says that at all. Like yeah. not to mention anything. They say, oh, they get the rub in and it feels good, but you start to understand the people that's doing it come from vinyl. Yeah. Mm -hmm. They're coming from vinyl. Mm -hmm. So like they, they're used to that feel. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And that's it. like when I felt it on a, I'm like, oh no, I, this yeah. is paper. Yeah. Um, yeah. Like once it, I don't know why, you know, because you do, you see the transfer, you see the ink, but the feeling of it, it's not. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. It, so like, this is like, this is when I learned that it's important for me to explain and understand the all war, mm -hmm. the garment, and then explain to the customer. So this one is like, this for this particular, it was just too much, just too much ink coverage, you know? But that would have felt like that for even with screen printing. Like, yeah, of course, it would have been yeah. even bigger. Yeah, even bigger. It would have been like this, this yeah. is what, yeah. and I'm not, you know, not too bad, no, I understand it, you know what I mean? Not but bad. now we just, like, as so a- So what's last, this? This is standard digital squeegee. Okay. Mm -hmm. So, but, but this black, part, the black, I use plastic off. Yeah, I can see yeah, that. Yeah, that's, that's screen frame. And then, but now we recently started doing discharge. Because you would have discharged the, all this white thickness in this. Huh? Um, I, I would have, uh, um, uh, my research came after doing this job. Yeah, yeah. So yeah. now if I would approach this job, it's, I would discharge it. And this is not bad, see, even the feel is, it, it is still thick, but it almost feels thick and quality thick. Yeah. Like, yeah. thick, like, I can peel this off thick. Yeah, like, yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. You know? Yeah, yeah. So, I understand. This is it's not too bad. This is actually not. Is that going to be all digital? Uh, so you don't have to do it. I think, like, based on talking with you, I think all of the jobs we'll be doing is creating the underbase. The softer underbase. Yeah, like, yeah. more like that. So it'll feel, would you put a plastic salt there, Devin? Uh, because of the solid, most of the white, the solid white. No, more so than a pink. Oh, the pink. I'll, I'll have to adjust it. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, that's solid. It could do be a spot color. So what I could, I'll have my brother decide, but we may throw in like a plaster salt. Uh huh. So that color is like just a tr good pop. Right, exactly. While the other, every Does it print? So is it CMYK or RGB? It's CMYK plus like two other additional gotcha. colors. Okay. So right now what I'm doing is I'm gonna put this into my quote mm -hmm. and then it's gonna force me to pick it. The thing with the, these, these digital prints is that the approval kind of needs to come within 15 minutes because or less. it's, or less because it's a water-based ink. So I pretty much, so how did you want to break up one of the designs, LA Riot, with the different, um, in the movie. you said what about the Boston George one? Oh, I'm going to show you right now. So the one I sent, it looks a little maroon. And then the other one? Uh, it was just uh, black and olive. And we can't necessarily on press change it from 14 inches to 13 and a half. It'll be too late at that point. Oh, the size? To the wide, the heavy, the, the new style shirts, you mm -hmm. know what I mean? So the width of it was kind of a little different for me once I actually seen them. So that's why it was smaller to bigger. And so now I'm pretty, pretty much trying to get this size of it, you know what okay. I mean? So whatever that 15 is and round what it off. Thank you for working with me yeah, though. No, thank you for working with me. Yeah, yeah. yeah. And, because even the conversation, I said that like some people, I've dealt with so many people, businesses from clothes to this, this and that, and communication is so key. And like, you know what I mean? Being able to communicate even from text, mm -hmm. that, that helped out, you know what I mean? <laughs> yeah. Nice to meet you, man. Appreciate it. Take care, brother. See you again. Take care, man. Yep. It's the new production house.